interested in, in learning about the second generation HP215. Can you tell us what makes it a second generation machine? Sure. Why don't I start first with uh, explaining the hybrid system overall. So there are three main components that make this hi this excavator a hybrid excavator. Uh, it starts with the electric swing motor. Now normally these machines have a hydraulic swing motor that allow the upper structure to turn. In the case of the hybrid, there's actually an electric swing motor that doubles as a generator. So similar to a hybrid vehicle that generates electricity at every braking, at every stop and go, uh, this hybrid excavator generates electricity during every swing brake. During every swing slowdown, it generates electricity and sends that to be stored in a capacitor. And a capacitor is just a different type of battery. And the main difference between a normal conventional battery and a capacitor is that it can accept, it can store and discharge electricity at a very high rate. So it's almost instantaneous. And by doing that, we're able to get all the energy during that swing braking and store it to make it available for use later. And the third component, so we've got the swing motor and the capacitor assembly. The third component is the generator motor, which is a component that sits between the engine and the hydraulic pumps. And what that does for us is it's really a, a two-mode thing. It, it actually takes the electricity from the capacitor and accelerates the engine speed, and we call that as an engine power-up function. So just like when you're in a car and you're in stop and go driving, every time you accelerate the car to get to speed, up to speed, and then you hit another red light, you have to brake, you lose that momentum. So with this, you're actually using electricity to accelerate, so you're not using fuel, and that's a big part of the fuel savings. How much fuel savings will you realize from this? It all depends on application, but we have seen a pretty consistent 25% average fuel savings. Obviously, the more you swing and the more frequent you swing, uh, the better those uh, numbers are going to be. Uh, so it really depends on the application. But the good thing about these machines is that no matter what, chances are the machines, an excavator is going to swing in what it does. The bottom bank is the actual capacitor bank. We have here a, a, a part of that assembly that houses the inverter, converter, and that is needed because the swing motor and the generator motor do uh, generate electricity in AC okay. alternating current, but electricity is stored in DC in direct current, so we need this component to switch that, to rectify, rectify it, it really invert, it can rectify is what that term is called to transform from one form of electricity to another. And then again, these components here have a special housing that circulates coolant. There is an additional hybrid cooler that's uh, put on to maintain those components at the proper time. This is actually a four-cylinder engine. The conventional 20-ton excavator gets a six-cylinder engine. So we were able oh. to take a four-cylinder engine. Uh, the six-cylinder is rated at 148 horsepower on the conventional 200. This four-cylinder is rated at 141. Oh. But you got to remember, you got those extra 60 horsepower that you can get on, on demand. So really, this is a powerful, pr pr productive machine.